Hello viewers. Welcome to my channel. The Tech Labs. Today's video focuses upon network monitoring tool. This tool live monitors running network services and servers. Also notification of any failure is reported within seconds. So tool that we are talking about it Uptime Kuma. Uptime Kuma is a open source self-hosted monitoring tool which monitors all of the servers as well as services running in your home labs, small office to mid-size enterprise. It can monitor HTTP, HTTPS websites, also certificate expiration days. You can monitor TCP services like SSH connections, NFS services, web services etc. You can even do a traditional ping to make sure system is up and even it can do domain name as well as DNS record checking. It's built on fancy, reactive, fast UI. Which give us fast, responsive and good working user interface. It also supports instant notifications via Telegram, Discord, email, signal, etc. It has a fancy dashboard and status pages. This reports services status and uptime. It also supports to factor authentication to keep your dashboard safe and secure. This video will be on two parts. In first part, we will discuss upon install, configuration and basic operation of Uptime Kuma and in the second part of the video we will give you an overview of the setting page menus as well as how to set up notification service to Discord server and Telegram. So let's get dive into the video and configure status. You can install it in Docker as well as in non-Docker environment. So for this video I will set up it non-Docker or standalone environment. The system requirement is to gigabits RAM and x64 based processor with any Linux OS installed. Very first we will install system with fresh Linux OS. You can always install it on any standalone PC. All steps are same for both virtual A's and standalone environment. But for the sake of this video, I am installing a fresh version of Debian 10 in virtualized environment using Proxmox. Here the basic Debian 10 installation is done. Now we restart the system after OS installation is over. Now I am changing the full screen view of the login screen. You can follow the instruction as mentioned in the GitHub page. Link in the description. Login with user root and password provided at the initialization of the system in my virtualized environment. But in your case you provide with the username and password that you created during the start of the installation process. Now follow GitHub page on non-Docker installation method. Here we update and upgrade repositories and packages to our fresh installation of Debian. Then we are installing packages that are required for the setup to run. Now we are upgrading Node.js package manager. Now we are cloning repository of Uptime Kuma from GitHub. Change directory to Uptime Kuma. Now we will run setup. But setup failed as the Node.js version on our system is old. So we will upgrade the Node.js to version 18. Now the Node.js version is update. So we will again start uptime Kuma setup process.
Now if you want to test then you can use option 1. But I want to run this service and use uptime Kuma service to start even when system retards. So we will go with option 2 and auto start PM2 on reboot. So we will follow these steps. Finally uptime Kuma server has started. Now we will check for the IP address of this system. We will now browse it from our favorite browser. Mind that we have to use port 3001 along with IP to access Kuma's web interface. Like this. When web console open, we will create our first admin user and password from this web console. After creation, Uptime Kumar dashboard will appear. Initially, we don't have anything to monitor. Now click on Add New Monitor, select the monitor type. First, we will set up our Proxmox's HTTPS access monitor. I am copying the IP and port from this screen. Now paste it as shown in the video. Friendly name is by which we identify it on dashboard. So we provide it as Proxmox. By default heartbeat intervals, that is the check interval, which is set up to 60 seconds. Since this is a secure URL, so we will ignore the TLS SSL error. Now see that the server is added with success message. On viewing the details of this monitoring event, by showing message as OK is flashed in green on the screen. We can also check for expiry of SSL certificate days. Now click on the top right side dashboard button to view complete quick stats of dashboard. Now we are adding second monitoring service to check for SSH service running in our gateway server. In monitor type we will select TCP port then the friendly name. IP address of the gateway server. Port on which SSH service is running. Then save. Again you will see to green notification. One for successfully add of service and to status of SSH service, which is up. Now if again we click on the top right side dashboard button to view complete quick stats of dashboard. We will see two services check is running and both status is UP. Now we will add third check type, which is to ping to HP laser printer in the same way as we did in the above two setups of services. But we will select monitor type to ping and keep rest information as same as per printer details. We can see three service checks are running and all status are UP. Now I am going ping into the printer as to show that it is connected. And also will remove the network cable to show that printer has lost connectivity. See the ping request is being replied. Now I am pulling out the network cable from the printer and you will see. Error 1 request timeout. Then you will see to error of destination host unreachable. You'll also see the same error is also detected by Uptime Kuma in red notification as well as one in down column. Now I'm plugging back the printer network cable. In few seconds it will detect that the printer is connected and a green notification off. Service is UP is flashed on the screen. It takes 20 seconds to recheck the status as during the time of initialization of the monitor we have. Set it to its default value of 20 seconds. This is how 
you can further add resources to monitor to your uptime kuma server and can see all of them in one single dashboard hope this video help you in understanding the initial setup and configuration of uptime kuma in the next video i will give you an overview of the setting as well as how to set up notification service to discord server and telegram support by like share and subscribing to the channel thank you